Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we are gonna tackle the air fried hamburger. Now, I have made air fried hamburgers several times over the course of the last six months, and several times that I've made it, they have been knockout phenomenal. And other times I'm like, hmm, this is pretty questionable. So the first thing I'm gonna tell you that if you want your hamburgers to turn out, get good beef. Just plain and simple, get good beef. You need to make sure that it is at least an 80-20 blend um, because your patty needs to have some fat in it. Um, the really, really lean stuff, I mean, it's fine if you want lean hamburger, but you're not gonna get the same flavors that you can if you do an 80-20 blend. Um, if you have a lower blend, say like 93-7 or something like that, if you wanna add in some additional fats, that actually does work. You can grate actual lard in it if you'd want, um, but you can also do butter, like freeze some butter, grate it up, put it in your burger, it will taste phenomenal. So that is the where I'm gonna start here because your hamburger depends on you. Cooking it in the air fryer is easy and fun. It's your choice of meat that's really gonna make or break this recipe. So I am also going to adventure in a way that I have never adventured before in this video. I am going to make portobello mushroom in the air fryer for the hamburger. So we are making a portobello mushroom hamburger in the air fryer. Are you ready for this? This should be fantastic. Let's go. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna want to do is go ahead and get our portobello mushroom sauce ready. Um, we are gonna need about two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm using coconut aminos, because as some of you know, I am allergic to soy. Um, I'm also using two to three tablespoons of olive oil. We're gonna use about one teaspoon or so of garlic. And that equals, with my size cloves today, that equals about two cloves of garlic. And let's just give that a little whisky whisk. Looks great. And now we are going to add our mushrooms. Now I have actually never cooked with a portobello mushroom before, so I wanted to take a moment to kind of poke around on this thing and see what this is all about. All right, so, well, looks like a mushroom to me. Looks pretty nice. All right, and my recipe says to wipe off my mushrooms. So I'm gonna go ahead and, so I'm going to go ahead and get a damp paper towel. I have heard though, that you definitely don't want to run them under water because it does, it does, um, absorb some of that moisture. All right, so right here on my mushroom, I am just going to, I guess, just put it in. So the recipe that I, there's no actual recipe, but the thing that I saw said to put your mushroom in and then massage the um, mixture all around it, kind of like you're marinating, but yet you're not really mar. I mean, I guess it could be marinating if it sits there for a long time, but you don't have to sit it there for a long time. So we're just gonna make sure to cover these very well. Okay, so now that those are all covered, I'm gonna set them aside for just a moment while we put together our hamburger. All right, now I have two pounds of ground beef. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, um, it does matter what percentage beef you have. I actually have a 93.7 today, so I am going to add some bacon fat into our burgers to make it awesome. So basically, I'm just going to cut up my bacon raw, and put it into the burger so that when it starts to cook, um, it actually starts to render and and get some of that, you know, those flavors into the meat and some of that fat. All right, and once you just kind of have it in a little, 
you know, mess. We're just gonna dump it right into our mixture. And as I mentioned a little bit ago, um, this is not necessarily a recipe necessarily as it is a um, technique. So I'm going to make Chipotle burgers. So we're actually making Portobello Chipotle. And so I'm gonna use the Pampered Chef Chipotle seasoning. Um, I'm gonna put probably about a tablespoon of Chipotle seasoning in it. And then I will adjust as per what I see. All right, we're also gonna wanna put salt and pepper in it. So I'm just gonna, eh, you know, put some. You could definitely salt and pepper it before it goes onto the grill, um, but I like to get the salt in the inside of the meat, so there's that. All right, time to use your hands and make sure that all of that pork fat gets mixed in so that every hamburger has some pork fat in it. And if you think you need, I just used two, three small half pieces of bacon. Um, so it's not a lot, but it's enough that it will make your hamburger just that much better. Um, and if you think you need more, you know, obviously it's up to your own interpretation of how fatty you want your hamburger to be. But this is some grass fed 93.7. And so it, it's better for me to add back in my fat than it is to not get the grass-fed beef. And this is what they had available today. So that's what I got. All right, let's look, smell. I think I'm going to put in maybe half a teaspoon more. Um, and I'm basically just looking and smelling. I'm looking for the color. I want it to be kind of like that Chipotle cover color, but not dark Chipotle. So like kind of that reddish paprika-ish, paprika color. Um, but definitely, there we go. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, all right, let me wash up. All right, and now it's time to get everything in the air fryer. The portobello mushrooms are going to take about eight minutes to in the air fryer itself, whereas the hamburgers will take anywhere from eight to 12 minutes. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. So I'm going to go ahead and start it at 20 minutes at 360. All right, now that that's heating up, let's go ahead and get our hamburgers ready. I'm going to use the hamburger and slider press from Pampered Chef. Um, this little tool is actually super handy for making hamburgers um, because all your hamburgers turn out the exact size that you want them to and stay in their little rounds. It, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to stick in some hamburger. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're going to press it in like this and anything that pops out, I'm gonna take off and put over there. Now I have this perfect little burger and then the bottom has a silicone bottom, so it pops the hamburger out just like so. Okay, there are two hamburgers ready to go in. If you haven't salt and peppered your hamburgers, go ahead and do that now. We're gonna get this one in the top first, and then I will go ahead and put the mushrooms underneath. Okay. So for these portobello mushrooms, this is what we're going to do to get them in there. We're going to need to remember that we need to swap them about halfway through. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my portobello mushrooms down on face up first. So the tops are on the bottom, just like that. And then it's super important that you salt them. All right, in they're gonna go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and push cancel. Custom, eight minutes, 360. That way I know at the halfway mark, I can check my doneness of all of my things and swap things around if need be. All right, and while we wait for that to come out, I thought I'd show you the slider area. So the slider one 
um, you just put the little mold right in the middle and you do the same thing you did with the hamburgers. You just fill up the hole and then instead of using this side, you use this side to do your little sliders. So let's just do a couple sliders for you to see. And look at those cute, perfect patties. Cute, perfect slider patties. Amazing. And another fabulous tool I thought I would show you real quick since we're still waiting is our simple slicer from Pampered Chef. Makes perfect slices of tomato for your burgers. Makes perfect onion slices, all the slices. It makes all the slices of all the things perfect. So I'm gonna set it on number three and then I will show you just how easy this thing is to use. And done, a whole tomato sliced to perfection using the simple slicer. Okay, that means our portobellos are done. So let's go ahead and grab those out of there. And then we will check the doneness of our burgers. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. All right, the timer has gone off. I've taken out the burgers. Look at how beautiful they look. Um, the sliders are still in there, so we'll leave that there for a moment. But let's get a little toast on this bun, and then we will assemble. All right, our buns have properly been toasted, so let's get to assembly. So I'm going to put some may mayonnaise down first. And I'm gonna use this whole grain mustard. It looked really awesome, it was on sale. Um, never heard of it before, and that one's about to be done. So let's just, let's just try it out. It looks fantastic, smells fantastic. All right, let's get our patty right on. There we go. And we'll get some onion on there. That's a fun burger. See that? That looks great. Wow. The real question, how does she taste? All right, I'm just going to, oh, I don't even know. Okay, how do you eat something this big? You just keep it skewered? Okay, I'm gonna try. I don't know, I don't know, but we're just gonna go for it, okay? You ready? This is probably gonna be the messiest thing ever. Here we go. How do we, my mouth doesn't even open that wide. Mmm. Excellent. Mm. Air fried hamburgers, y'all. And air fried portobello mushroom. That's a good portobello mushroom. Mmm. Mmm. So juicy. I don't know if you can see the juices dripping from my burger but this is a seriously juicy burger seriously amazing way to cook it if you have an air fryer in 10 minutes you can do it yourself too just mix in your own seasonings and boom you're good to go all right you guys if you enjoyed that video please give it a like share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel i do videos several times a week and i'm always looking for the next adventure so if you have an idea, leave it in the comments below and I will see what I can do. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye. Mm.